Welcome to Kids Afloat for something a little bit different today. We're going to take you on a tour of the grandparents afloat, Far 6000, Freya. Because, amongst other things, apart from enjoying boat videos, I am so proud of the amazing job that my mum and my dad have done on this incredible boat. When they bought Freya, she was in very basic condition, but with many years' experience under their belt in restoring trailer sailors, they've brought her up to better than when she left the factory floor. This is my dad. He's going to take us on a tour of Freya today and show us all of the things that he's done to make her better. Bloodshot, our old fire. 1986. What year was that photo taken? These would have been about 88. Oh, that's so awesome. That's exactly how I remember. It's Abel Tasman National Park. And then that's when we moored beside her that's and found out she'd been renamed. Yeah, Lake Rotuiti. Here's a wee blondie. <laughs> <laughs> So to redo Freya's interior, they used a luxe foam to recreate the cushions and make them even more comfy, and they re-laminated the entire kitchen so it looked brand new. To make it even more new, Pop also had to redo all the wires and all the lights so it would light up properly and you wouldn't be waking up in the night with a dark boat and smacking your head on a couple of things. I think I've been right down there with um, safety gear and stuff, and it's got a rope, so you can pull it out. Oh, yeah. And so there's the sunshade. There's the sunshade. And that. Um, it's just got wooden slats. Yep. Which are enclosed. And um, these fantastic click-on Carabiners. Carabiners. Oh, yeah, look at that. Man, they're good. You just, you know, if you want to dip one side to give you more shade, if the sun's low, you just... Tighten these up and loosen off the other side. They are, they are fantastic little things. Also. On the outside of Freya, Nan and Pop had to put all new cleats and sheets everywhere. Here's a window that you can see the keel wire for when the keel's wound up, and here's a new compass that Pop put in. Mum and Dad have always been meticulously organised, and certainly the boat is no stray from that theme. One of the things I really liked about Freya was the continuous traveller sheet, which, when you think about it, makes perfect sense, especially when you've got a bit of a lean on and you need to tack. Well, it, um, the teak was um, <clears throat> starting to rot, and the laminations were uh, splitting. The adhesive was breaking down, so um, it was really bad to the point where the washboards, the outer washboards, wouldn't stay in place. Oh. So, and it certainly wasn't um, weatherproof. So, it was one of the jobs we had to get done before we could um, overnight. Yeah, so I got some teak from a um, marine timber supplier down the Gold Coast and um, ripped it into four mil slats and. Um, pre-bent them with hot water and then um, made up a former out of um, plywood for moulding the new ones. Those are the washboards? Washboards, the inner washboards are brand new. This oh, yeah, is the mast step? Yeah. So how did you make this? I think I just screwed together some bits of ply. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's just... Solid? Some one inch ply. And it's got a hole for the... Pin at the bottom. Two, two pieces screwed together, that's what they're for. Mm -hmm. Just goes through the mast step pin. And then just route it out the top. Yeah, just I think maybe even a jigsaw and a file. And these are important. These are what stop the spreaders from damaging the fiberglass when you're trailering. The slots. Yeah, so not only does it support the weight of the mast, but it stops the spreaders from um, going too low. So the it's so difficult without that. It's new? Yeah. 
<coughs> just trying to get the anchor up without damaging the hull. I mean, it's still possible to damage the hull. How did you do the safety netting? Well, you just buy that from somewhere like... <coughs> um, Chandlery? Or somewhere. Yep. A chand any Chandlery, really. <coughs> and I ran some... Um, I need a rope along the bottom, mm -hmm. through, through, through that through, and um, stretch it up, and there, there we go. It looks like you've put a little. I've put some saddles here to hold it down. Mm -hmm. It's so good, it just holds the jib when you drop it. <clears throat> there was a lot of work put into making Freya's hull super shiny by restoring the gel coat. And there's also been a lot of work done in making her easier to trailer. Now for the outboard bracket for transporting, keeps it off the boat and out of the car and um, just a little piece of 40mm galvanised angle welded there and the rest of it's held on with trailer parts. That's very effective. So the mast support goes into the existing brackets at the bottom. Um, I just put a little bit of rubber bicycle tube there too stop from rattling and um, it telescopes so that when you're transporting it's in the lower position the pin goes through that hole at the top but then when we stop I just raise it up uh, which gives us clearance room to the cop you know more head room in the cockpit and can raise the uh, pop top for the this pillar? is important yeah you can't fail Rather with these so. relying on the um, on the standard up pull because mm -hmm. it will pull out it'll bust your rudder here we'll just pull that out so you need to either put a rope around it or something like this and here like that that's really snug yeah and when that gets pulled through and under and tensioned up on the other side it doesn't go anywhere no so do you just tie it to the other stanchion yeah i tie the rope I'm sure you can imagine how many hours have gone into this gorgeous little boat. There's still a little bit to do, and I think the next job is probably to scrape off some of the old anti foul just to make her nice and shiny all the way under the hull as well. For joining us on the tour of Freya the Far 6000. You'll find her cruising around Moreton Bay and we hope to see you out on the water soon. Mm -hmm.